we are gonna talk about fructose. So here we go, fructose is entering our cell. In this case, we are talking about a liver cell. So fructose is gonna enter our cell through GLUT2. Here's fructose in yellow. Fructose is gonna go through a similar first step in that it's gonna have a phosphate added to it to make um, fructose 1-phosphate. And that is with a different enzyme called fructokinase, but it's essentially doing the same thing that that glucokinase enzyme did that we talked about already. So we have now, we have now trapped um, fructose into the cell by converting it into uh, fructose 1-phosphate. From there, our fructose 1-phosphate can get split apart into dihydroxyphosphate and glyceraldehyde. What I would like to point out is that, oh, and then from there, it can just go through the rest of glycolysis the same way glucose would. Now, what I want to point out here is that fructose is entering glycolysis after this heavily regulated step of phosphofructokinase. So glucose, or sorry, fructose is going to be entering in um, the, into the tail end of glycolysis regardless of what the energy status of the cell is um, because it's entering after that heavily regulated step of phosphofructokinase. Um, and so here I'm just showing you a little bit more detail. So when fructose gets split apart into dihydroxyphosphate and glyceraldehyde, that glyceraldehyde can then have a, a phosphate added to it in order to become glyceraldehyde-3-phosphate and just continue down the rest of glycolysis the same way that glucose did.